North Beach, some residents and business owners say has been forgotten by the city, but one group of developers sees it as a diamond in the rough. Chris X News reporter Greg Chandler was there as they unveiled the new plans. Improving North Beach starts with solving the area's decades old drainage issue. Well, developers think they've solved the issue and found a way to return this area to its former glory. And sometimes the easiest solution is right in front of you. I mean, throughout time, you've seen it. For developers, that easy solution is to build a canal. What's going to happen is be like a big drainage ditch down through the middle of uh, North Beach. And so all the water will flow into the canal so it can flow out to the bay. The canal comes with an estimated $40 million price tag. The developers plan to ask the city to pay for it. That canal would be 62 feet wide, 10 feet deep, and run through the middle of North Beach on the old railroad line. It would also address the area's drainage issues. There's a lot of discussions going on, but it's a requirement from the city. In fact, it's public safety. When it rains, you can't, it's hard to get fire trucks in there or ambulance in there. The best part? It's all publicly owned land. The city doesn't have to buy any property to put the canal in. The area is already there that the city owns. The canal is the centerpiece of Jeff Blackard's vision for North Beach. He wants to turn it into a river walk style attraction with a nature preserve, 3,500 seat amphitheater, amusement park, and much more, plus parking to accommodate the extra traffic. Blackard says he'd start construction on the project within six months if he were able. He is hopeful, though, that the canal can open around the same time as the new Harbor Bridge. On North Beach, Greg Chandler, Chris Six News. And the proposal also included breakwater islands offshore. Developers say those islands would help prevent shore erosion, another major issue on North Beach. We put the full presentation on our YouTube page. All you have to do is search for Chris Six News. Jeff Blacker, by the way, is also the developer behind the proposed Barisi Village development on the old Faro Valley Country Club. That project is back in court after opponents appealed a ruling that cleared the way for the project to start. Blackard says his team never stopped working on the project and they will be ready to start work as soon as the legal process wraps up.